Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial on how to build an attendance tracker in Google Sheets. This spreadsheet will allow you to track the attendance for an unlimited number of students or employees over the course of any number of weeks. Once you've listed your students or employees in the spreadsheet, you simply mark each day as it arrives, and then you mark the attendance for each person in the list. The yes, no, and percentage numbers all calculate automatically and you get the overall numbers for everyone listed right here on the top. What's also nice about this template is that you can add as many people to the list as you want. And you can add more weeks simply by inserting new columns and then using copy and paste. All the formulas update automatically and you can continue to track the attendance all in one place. Now if you'd like to purchase this template instead of build it, you can use the link listed in the description. That said, if you're ready to learn how to build this template all the way from scratch, then let's get to it. The first thing that you need to do is open a blank Google Sheets spreadsheet in your Google Drive. Once inside the spreadsheet, start by typing A colon Z into the name box to select all of the columns. Then right click and select resize columns A to Z. Change the size to 35 and then click OK. Next, select column B and resize the column to 125. Then select columns C, D, and E and resize these columns to 80. From here, click in the name box and enter 1 colon 1000 to select all of the rows. Then right click on one of the row headings and select resize 1 through 1000. Change the row height to 30 and then click on OK. Finally, click right here to select all of the cells. Change the font size to 12, change the horizontal alignment to center, and change the vertical alignment to middle. Next, select column B and change the horizontal alignment to left. Then select row 1 and change the row height to 60 and change the font size to 18. For the finishing touch, select columns V through Z, right click, and insert 5 columns to the right. The structure of your worksheet is now set. Let's add some data to the spreadsheet next. Starting in cell B6, type in employee, or if you are building this spreadsheet for students instead, type in student. Then in cell C6, type in yes. Then in cell D6, type in no. And in cell E6, type in the percent sign. Then starting in cell B7, go ahead and enter in some sample names. Once you're done with that, select cell H6 and enter in SU. Then in the next cell, enter in M. Then TU, W, TH, F, and SA. Next, select H5 through N5 and go to Insert and then Checkbox. Then select all of the cells below your Sunday through Saturday labels for all of your employees or students. In my case, that's H7 through N14. And then go to Insert and Checkbox. Nice. Next, select H3 through N3 and merge these cells. Then type in Week 1. To finish the data input, select B3 through B4 and merge these cells as well. Also, change the font size to 18 and change the horizontal alignment to center. Then, use the fill handle to copy the merge cell over to the next three columns. Finally, in cell B3, enter in overall and a colon. Let's move on to some formatting. Start by selecting all of the cells by clicking here. Then, Bold all of the cells, and next select B6 through E6 
and click on the fill color button and then click on the plus to add a custom color. For the hex code, enter in pound symbol 1D21 one, four, three, and then click on OK. Also, change the font color to white. Next, select H5 through N6, click on the fill color button, and select the custom color that you just created. Also, change the font color to white. Next, select H3, which is the merged cell, and then click on the fill color button. Click on the plus to add another custom color and make the hex code pound sign 29A36E and then click on OK. Then change the font color to white. Finally, select B3 through E4 and add the custom dark blue fill color. Also, change the font color to white. Now with this range still selected, click on the borders button. Change the border color to white and apply vertical inside borders. Awesome. Next, let's copy our week section a few times. So select the range H3 through N14 and then use control C to copy. Then select cell P3 and use control V to paste. Also, select cell X3 and use control V to paste. You can now change cell P3 to week 2 and cell X3 to week 3. Let's also change the colors for these weeks as well. Select cell P3, click on the fill color button, and click on the plus to add a custom color. For the hex value, enter in pound sign 2A7CEF and then click on OK. Next, select cell X3, click on the fill color button, and click on the plus to add yet another custom color. For the hex value, enter in pound sign FF0077 and then click on OK. At this point, we can start adding in some formulas. We will begin in cell C7. So in the formula bar, enter the formula equals count ifs function and select the range H5 through AD5. Then press the F4 key to make this an absolute reference. Now for the second argument, enter in true. For the third argument, Select the range H7 through AD7. And for the fourth argument, enter in true. Then close parentheses and press enter. To save time, select the text of this formula in the formula bar and then use control C to copy. Then select cell D7 and paste the formula into the formula bar. Also change the last argument to false. You can then select cells C7 through D7 and use the fill handle to copy both formulas down for all of the people in the list. And now when you check one or two of the days, you can mark the attendance for each person on those days. The count ifs function checks to see that the check mark above each specific day has been checked. The function then looks at the attendance checkboxes below and if a checkbox is checked, which is equivalent to true, then you get a count for yes. But if a checkbox is not checked, which is equivalent to false, you get a count for no. Now what about the percent? To calculate the percent, select cell E7 and enter the following formula. Equals if function C7 plus D7 equals 0, comma, 0, comma, C7 divided by open parentheses C7 plus D7 close parentheses close parentheses and enter. 
This formula checks to see that at least one yes or no has been logged to avoid getting a division by zero error. The formula then calculates the percentage of yes values in relation to all of the logged attendance. Now to complete this calculation, click on the percent button in the toolbar to change the number format to percent. You can also click on this button to remove the decimal places. Finally, use the fill handle to copy the formula down for everyone in the list. Let's finish up with the overall calculations. Starting in cell C3, enter the formula equals sum function C7 colon C, close parentheses, and enter. When you write the reference this way, the sum function will add up all of the numbers starting from cell C7 all the way down for the rest of column C. And this is just what you want in case you decide to add more people to the list later on. You can now use the fill handle to copy this formula over to cell D3 as well. Now for the last formula. Select cell E3 and enter equals if error function, average function, E7 colon E, close parentheses, comma, zero, close parentheses, and enter. You wrap the average function inside of the if error function so that you do not get a divide by zero error whenever no data is entered. Now to complete this calculation, change the number format to percent and remove the decimal places. Now to finish the worksheet, let's add in some final flares of color. Go ahead and select cell C3 and then hold the control key and select C7 through C14. Then change the font color to the custom green that you created earlier. Next, select cell D3 and hold the control key and also select D7 through D14. This time, change the font color to the custom red that you created earlier. And next, select cell E3 and hold the control key and select E7 through E14 and change the font color of these cells to the custom blue that you created earlier. Finally, select row 1 and change the fill color to the custom dark blue and also change the font color to white. Then in cell B1, type in attendance tracker. Now for the final touch, go to view, show, and uncheck grid lines. Your attendance tracker is now complete. Now what do you do if you want to add more people to the list? Well, start by typing in the new names in the employee column. After that, select all of the cells for the last listed person starting in column C, and then use the fill handle to drag everything down for the new people added to the list. You can then proceed normally. Now what about adding new weeks? To add a new week, select all of the columns for the last week, including the extra column on the left, and then right click on the column headings and select insert eight columns left. You can then copy the last week and paste it into the newly created columns. You can then update the week titles and change the colors to fit as well. And if you do it this way, all of the formulas continue to work properly. And that is how to expand and work with your new attendance tracker in Google Sheets. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, then definitely be sure to subscribe. Thanks for sticking around and watching. And until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.